you shocked when you heard TK say his name? Man, that nigga TK <laughs> was crazy. As I heard that song before it ever even was like big like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, damn, that's what's up. And what's crazy is where he from is actually where I was at when I was on the run in Texas. Like, really? And yeah, you feel me? And now that shit crazy because I was out there and it's a motherfucker that he, that they said that uh, he killed or whatever, like that they accused him of, but I was at that nigga house before. You know what I'm saying? Like I bought some weed from dude, you feel Whoa. me? Like, and that was my, my homie, Big brother friend, you know what I'm saying? A nigga named Ethan or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Then when I came back to Chicago in 2016, they had, my homie Gotti had called me out there like, hey bro, you know that nigga Ethan got killed? Ooh, ooh, I'm what? Like, he hell yeah. And I'm like, damn. Like, and then later on down the line, I ended up finding out that TK was locked up for that same shit. I'm like, this shit a small world. So I'm like, what the fuck? asking my homies like, do y'all even know him? Cause I wasn't from out here. And they like, no, nah, we don't know him. You know what I'm saying? Like. We never just a, seen him. He was just a you know fan, and like, he just happened to mention him. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like that should be wild, wild as hell. But free TK though. I fuck with his music. He he actually nice with that shit too. No, yeah, the TK thing. We were all talking about that the other day. I mean, that was that was a wild scenario where you have somebody who was just like really good, but hadn't really popped off at all, and then everybody basically found out about him at the same time, yeah. at the exact moment that he got picked up for that case. Yeah, because shit like. <laughs> He, he must knew he was getting locked up or something because shit, he ain't even them to get to shoot another video or nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, he was already on the warrant. He had one of courses in the video, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that shit is crazy though. He ain't even get to enjoy that shit, man. Mm. No, definitely. But did it feel like kind of a, an honor to have TK even mention his name? Like, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a big up, you feel me? Because that's a whole other side of the world, you know what I'm saying? And just like, for bro to have that influence on the motherfucker, I'll I, I be respecting that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Love. So on the total opposite end of the respect spectrum, how did you feel when you heard Six Nine using some of his lyrics and songs? Man, I ain't even hear that shit to be honest. I just be seeing shit like that over the internet. Like, it's just certain motherfuckers I don't even entertain when I see their name. Like, his ass a goofy. But when he was doing that at first, it was like he used his lyrics before he snitched and stuff, right? So did you have a different perspective on it earlier when you first heard it? Or? No. Like so ever since I seen this ass, I'm like, man, this ass, <laughs> this ass weird. Like, he didn't have to snitch for you to think he was you a feel bozo. Me? Like I just was like, bro, I don't fuck with dude. Like you right. feel me? Like I ain't never really like his ass like that. You feel me? He just was like a, a goofy. You feel me? And I could tell. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, no. Yeah. I hear it. But it's love though if he feel me, he shot it bro out, but now it's like your ass overly ratted, bro. Like mm. fuck dude, you feel me? Because you're <laughs> definitely from an environment where you can't tolerate any degree of that, right? Hell no. Nah, right. I ain't with none of that, bro. Like a nigga told on my homie, like mm. and he fighting for his life. from your perspective on some street shit, do you see people snitching way more these days? Because I always hear that from my friends out here who are still kinda of in the streets or whatever. They're like, bro, it's just nothing like it used to be. Man, niggas been snitching. I don't know. <laughs> like, this shit, like, this niggas been snitching, bro, since mm -hmm. back then. Like, this shit ain't nothing new. They just be saying that because the young generation, you feel me? It's, it's our time now, and you feel me? Like, it's so much shit happening, you feel me, that's going on, and all this shit is publicized. That's, that's why the internet is relevant. You can see this shit all over, you feel me? Like, but back then, like, you ain't know what the fuck was going on in Georgia when you was in Chicago like that, unless you was out there, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, so a motherfucker didn't really know, but niggas been telling. Mm. When when you saw, because there was a quote that you said where you said that when the cops came to your mom's house to talk, talk to them, that they actually were like basically telling her that, what, what was the quote that they told her that they didn't give a fuck? Oh, or yeah, that they, they was like, they was just basically telling her like, yeah, we happy your son did, and we gonna kill your other two. On my soul, exact words, right at the dope. My mom, my sister spit on their ass and ran in the crib. Spit on them? Hell yeah. Whoa, and they ran and they ran away from him and the cops just didn't try to follow him or anything? Holy shit, that situation could have turned bad. They did, but shit, motherfuckers slammed the door in their face. They ain't tried to get in the crib or nothing, you feel me? Like Right. Is that like the attitude that you felt like you've dealt with from cops over the years? That they straight up don't give a fuck and like that they just really, it's almost like a joke to them, all this shit happening? Yeah, like... Uh, they, they, they want motherfuckers to die. You feel me? Like, this is their whole purpose of how they even do the shit that they be doing. Like, dirty police, you know what I'm saying? Like, they want the, the worst for a motherfucker, no matter what it is. You feel me? Whether they give you a lot of years or your ass down here, you feel me? Like, they want that shit. Like, they happy. They, you doing their job for them. That's how they look at this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna say that all police is like that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some motherfuckers that 
that it's not tolerating the shit that these other police be doing. You know what I'm saying? They don't even do half the shit that they be doing. Like, since I've been out, like, I've been seeing them kind of police because I've been around my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And, and they would just be like, man, like, we not, you know what I'm saying? We not trying to tell y'all y'all have to leave or no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Just because y'all move y'all cops, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Versus back in the day, these old police just stop, get out, chase us already, you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, we ain't, really? you ain't told us shit. All we doing is walking or standing here. Y'all already getting out the car, you know what I'm saying? Because it's however many of us, so you know what I'm saying? We just look like something, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit just be crazy. But like I said, it's not all of them, but a lot of they ass be... One of the worst for a motherfucker. This is their agenda. They plant shit on people. They do shit to just have you at your worst. Right. And it feels like, you know, because I'm always interested in in that dynamic between the people who are in the streets and the cops and stuff. Because they're saying that it's like the worst for shootings in Chicago this summer that it's been in years and years. Like, is, does it feel like that when you're out and about? Like, that it just feels just like <laughs> shit is crazier. You would think with the coronavirus, people would be staying home more. So there would be less opportunities to shoot each other. I mean, this shit the same shit to me. Like, that's how I look at it. Like, when you out and about throughout Chicago, you not finna just be seeing motherfuckers getting shot. Like, unless it's you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't finna just be a witness to a motherfucking crime like that. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna you hear about, hear the about news, it. Yeah. You feel me? Like, see this shit. Motherfuckers talk about this shit on social media. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in Chicago, everybody know everybody. You feel me? So word travel fast out there. You know what I'm saying? So you would just hear about it. You know what I'm saying? Just get the call or something. But... Unless you was there with a motherfucker, but you don't, when you in the mix, you don't be thinking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just see the articles and shit like, they the motherfuckers who paying attention to this shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, this shit been going like this for years for us. Like, this is our whole lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So, we not really paying it. We not looking at it from no numbers perspective, really. You know? Mm -hmm. That's for you. What uh, what was the situation with this video that went viral of y'all running up on Rico Reckless and trying to figure out what what his problem was? Oh yeah, like his uh, it's a goofy too. You feel me? He another six nine ass nigga, but you feel me? He Heard he got OnlyFans. I don't know what's to him. I don't keep up with his ass, but okay. He, uh, yeah, I guess he had said some shit about my brother, you feel me? But I never really heard the shit. I guess I was locked up when I heard the shit, you feel me? Like, but then I got out, you feel me? And I was, uh, um, this around the time my mixtapes was just going crazy, you feel me? So he had a song on that, like, he remixed Black Youngster Birthday, you feel me? And mm -hmm. I heard him, like, shout out my brother, you feel me? Like, he was like, free spaz, R.P. Pappy or some shit, you feel me? So I'm like, what the fuck, like? This nigga weird, you feel me? Like, so when I seen him, I'm just like, you feel me? I know you said free spaz RP Pappy, but did you say, you feel me? Like, fuck bro type shit, you feel me? So that's what the whole thing was, you feel me? But he basically saying like, I don't, I don't really know what the fuck he was saying. It just, it didn't like, once he said, he said like, you know what I'm saying? The disrespectful shit, it was just like, it's that, you feel me? Like, motherfuckers mm. on that with you, you feel me? But, so what happened in that actual video? Like, was what was that physical altercation like? Because you can't really see it in the video. You just yeah, my, hear it. My homie bust his ass for His ass was beating his ass, you feel me? We all got to beating his ass, and his ass was crying, all type of shit. But you feel me? Of course, he going to make it seem like some whole other shit. But he was out there by himself. None of his people helped him, you feel me? Like, motherfucker yeah, really. beat his ass and got out of the... The police came. We had to check it to a whole nother hotel, all type of shit. Wait, where was that? In Atlanta. Oh, that was in Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, that was just some whole ironic shit, too, because a motherfucker told us, y'all finna run it to Rico Records right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> a motherfucker told us, man, y'all finna run it to Rico Records. We, man, get your goof ass. Soon as the motherfucker got out the elevator, my homie called me, like, bro, Rico Records in the lobby. Y'all, what? We down there. Yo ass tweaking. <laughs> that shit funny as hell. What the fuck? That's weird as fuck when, like, the, the Chicago, like, there's been a couple different situations over the years where different Chicago guys run into each other in different states. Yeah. Yeah. Where they like presumably don't have it on them, and it's just weird ass <laughs> arguments slash fight situations ensue and shit. I've seen a couple in the mall over the years and shit. Yeah, man, that should be ironic as hell. God damn. Um, so in terms of like your music career, like like what where do you, what's your perspective on it and stuff? I still see you making moves and shit. I was uh, the, you had the NLE Chopper yeah. fucking collab from like a year ago or whatever. That was that was pretty crazy. Yeah, that shit went crazy. I had drove out there to Memphis and fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? My uh. One of my cameramans had told me to come out there and do it with him. He was fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? So we did that, shot the video, you feel me? Like, we had freestyled the song, you know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. in the video, I don't even remember the song. I'm like, damn, bro. And then we didn't even get the song mixed at first, you know what I'm saying? We just did the song, all right, come on, let's go shoot the video. So when we was playing the song, like, we couldn't really hear the, hear the lyrics or nothing. So I'm like, 
damn, bro, I don't remember what the fuck I said. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so that's why the video is how it is. I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying, get in my mold how I wanted to. But oh, okay. yeah, that shit definitely went crazy. But I ended up getting locked up right after I did that shit. I never even got to, you know what I'm saying, like really enjoy the fruits of that oh, shit. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. Like, I was locked up when that shit got released and everything. Right. Damn, that's so. Where you get locked up for that time? I got, they charged me with an armed violence, you know what I'm saying, possession of a firearm and drugs. But I got, I played out to, you feel me, possession of a firearm. It took two years at 50%. So you ended up doing a year? Yeah, I ended up doing 10 and a half months. I got 45 days good time. Okay. Are you fucking sick of going to jail at this point? Is Hell it, yeah. I'm it's got to be getting old, shit, right? Man. Like I can't be steady going back to jail. Then I just did 10 and a half months straight, you know what I'm saying? I was down there. I was really fucking with a lot of older motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? My cellar, he, he was talking to me, you know what I'm saying? Really trying to get me to understand a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Then my support system on the outside, you know what I'm saying? They was really getting to me, you know what I'm saying? Letting me know that I have to focus on what it is that I want out of life, you know what I'm saying, to really be a successful grown man in society, you know right. what I'm saying? And I was playing a lot of chess, you know what I'm saying, reading a lot of books. Oh, that's dope. So I really utilized my time to my advantage, but I can't I got no more time to get us shit, hell no. Right. Do you, uh, do, does his name, like, like, is it still, like, as soon as you get locked up, is it just immediately like, oh, that's Pappy's brother? Like, oh, like, is everybody still, is the topic yeah, of the conversation? Like, that's how it is with any motherfucker known in Chicago. You don't even gotta be a rapper. Like you could just be a motherfucker that a rapper homie. Like a motherfucker gonna be knowing as soon as you come in, like, oh that's dude, you feel me? Like, period. Like, cause everybody know everybody in Chicago. Mm. Definitely. Um, how do you feel about like a lot of the the newer talent? There's been like a lot of different artists coming out of Chicago, kind of blowing up, and a lot of them are more like Polo G and Juice World, rest mm -hmm. in peace, who are kind of more on like the melodic tip. They sort of yeah. like left a lot of the drill stuff behind in a way. Yeah, that shit that shit go crazy. Both of them be going crazy. You feel me? Juice World, he really elevated this shit to a whole nother level. Like Polo G, he go crazy too. You feel me? My boy Cowboy, yeah, motherfucker, mm -hmm. they all Cowboy. Dirt. You feel me? All dirt. they us. Yeah. I, I support all that shit. That is motivational to see Dirk and Herbo still being super relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they been Herb. That's my boy. I fuck with him the long way. Like that's one of my favorite artists. You feel me? Out of Chicago, but it definitely is. They've been going strong for them in ten years now. Mm. Another classic interview in the books. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and head on over to NoJumper.com to support. Appreciate y'all.